Hey pilots, today we're talking about active flying. Do you need to fly actively? How do you do it? What to watch out for? And at the end, we've got an awesome game to share. So stick around and we will turn you into a wing control master. If you don't watch this video, you might get a clapper and not even know what it is. What is active flying? Very simply, you're taking an active part in controlling the wing to keep it in a sweet spot so that you cruise through the different gusts in the best way possible without getting the glider to stall or having a collapse. So let's jump into a wing and have a look. Right. So as you're moving through the air, the airflow is usually coming up at an angle from underneath slightly. This is because you are descending down through the air. So the airflow, the relative airflow, is coming up this way. And it goes into the leading edge, it fills up the cells nicely, and you get a nice pressure in your glider, and you get this beautiful aerofoil shape on the top surface that keeps you gliding and gives you that lift. If the airflow comes too steeply from underneath like this, you know from your flying school that you get a stall. If the airflow comes too far on the nose like this, you get a collapse, or what the Germans call a klapper! A klapper! 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 Bro, we don't want that. Your brakes are attached to the trailing edge of the glider. So as you pull them down, you can see you increase that angle of attack. So you're getting a, bringing a glider closer to stall. So you don't want to pull too much brakes when you're trying to do this active flying to control the glider. But equally, if you just let the glider fly into a gust where the wind is blowing down on the nose and it's going to collapse it in like that, you'd rather pull a bit of brake and change that angle to just keep the glider flying a little bit longer. That's what we're going to look at in this excellent demonstration by Flugschüler Uber Bayern. We'll play a game, I'll challenge you to get more points than me with your active flying. Check out this excellent tool developed by Flugschüler Uber Bayern. You've got the airflow over the wing and it shows clearly the angle of attack at the front of the wing, which is that angle between the airflow and the cord line running straight through the center of the trailing edge and leading edge. So as you pull the brakes down, so as you pull the brakes down, you generate more turbulence on the trailing edge and you increase that angle of attack. So pulling down, you get a bigger angle of attack and releasing the brakes goes back to a nice airflow. That turbulence that's on the trailing edge on the top surface is what's slowing the wing down. So when you pull the brake on one side, that's what gets you to turn. It slows down on the inner wing and the wing will turn around that. And while you're doing that, you're increasing the angle of attack and you're getting it closer to stall point. And at some point with too much brakes, that angle of attack becomes too, too steep and you get a stall. So let's keep the brakes nice and high. That airflow over the wing isn't steady. It's changing as you're flying through the lift and sink. So your angle of attack is changing all the time. And as you fly through these different gusts, you need to compensate with your brakes to keep that angle of attack in the green zone. If you don't, and you just leave your wing to fly through the turbulent air, clapper, clapper, clapper. <laughs> that's because the angle of attack became negative. The wind started blowing from slightly on top of the wing, 
and eventually, Klapa! <laughs> Klapa! Okay, it's highly, highly unlikely that you'd ever stall your wing by just flying with hands up through thermic conditions. So that's pretty safe. Um, you can help it a little bit by the way that you put input into the wing. But yeah, you're not going to stall the wing by flying around with your hands up. But what you will do is you'll get the front collapse, the asymmetric collapse, if you just fly around with your hands high. So your active flying starts with pulling down on the brakes when you feel the wing has got a very, very small angle of attack and you need to help it a little bit. But you don't want to pull down too much because then you're going to stall the wing. So you're keeping an eye on it, you pull down when the angle of attack is very small, and then you just let it fly. Okay, we're not talking a huge amount of brake input here, but when the angle of attack gets really small and you feel like the wind is coming right on the nose of the glider, then you pull a little bit of brake and then you release again just to keep it in that happy zone. Pull it down a little bit, and release. Now it's a little tricky on this simulation to get the full picture because the glider will actually be diving forward when the angle of attack is very very low. At that point the glider is going to be diving forward. There again it's diving forward. When it's got a high ang angle of attack that's usually when you've gone through a thermal and you'll feel the glider will be slightly behind you. But now that's the glider ahead of me. So there I have to pull down again, relax, release, pull down, glider's diving ahead of me. Oh, clapper, I let it go too early. Okay, so, wow, I'm getting taken apart here. Okay, so you're gonna just gonna keep, oh, another one. <laughs> okay, so you don't want to you don't want to pull too much. If I pull and I hold on the brakes too much like this, and I just fly along, uh, I'm scared, stall. And that's uh, that's why we don't recommend pilots to fly with their brakes on in turbulent conditions, and just just kind of hold them for security because stall. That's what's going to happen, and that's a normal reaction. That's normally what pilots do in turbulent conditions. They come down a bit on the brakes because, oh, it's feeling a bit scary. And then you hold the brakes and then the glider settles into a little bit of a sink, bit of sink, and you hold on more. And then all of a sudden you get a gust and boom, you get the stall. So you have to, for active flying, you've got to keep this active. There isn't a position that you can hold in, in uh, rough conditions where it's safe to just keep the brakes on at that position. If there's any position that's safe, it's hands up, okay? <laughs> that's probably the best position if you don't know what the hell you're doing. But if you want to try and improve this active flying, clapper! Don't talk too much, pay attention. Right, so I've got, I've got a small angle of attack, I'm pulling a bit of brake, pulling a bit of brake, and then I release. And I let it fly normally. Ah, with going through a release. And whoops, pull that one, pull it, and release. As long as you're keeping that angle fairly healthy in the green zone, you're okay. Now you're not gonna see that angle of attack. So you, you're not gonna have this visual clue to work with where you're trying to keep that angle um, healthy. What you will feel is the wing pitching forward and back. So as the wing pitches back, that's when your hands go up. And as the wing goes forward, that's the low angle of attack. And that's where you need to catch the glider from having that front collapse. So at the moment it's healthy and it's flying happily. And then, whoa, let's dive forward. And I stalled it by pulling too much and then holding it in. So that was a quick one, probably a very strong gust of a thermal. So pull, release. It'd be very quick to release it when you feel that you've gone into another gust. So I'm flying along happily and there's a little bit of, a little bit of it, whoop, got a dive forward there. So we're okay again. 
hands high, hands high, still happy, pull down a bit, release, and still flying along nicely, all good, hold it back, release, hold it back, release, hold it back, ah, I didn't hold it back there, so I got the clapper, <laughs> all right, you get the idea, so let's move on to the game, where I can challenge you, right, I know all about active flying, so I'm going to do this with my eyes closed. Let's go. Whoops. 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 Hold it back. Hold it back. Hold it back. And where are we? Clapper! <laughs> Where's our score? Ah, time is over. 4750. There you go, guys. Right, there's your challenge, guys. Can you do better? Let me know in the comments below what your best score is. Thanks to Nat at uh, Flugschule Uber Bayern for this amazing tool. I hope you guys have lots of fun playing with your active flying controls. Keep working at it until you hit the sweet spot and get a green line right throughout and get the high score. Put your high score down below. Let me know what it is and uh, safe flying. We've also got two other videos on active flying, which you can see over here. I'll link it in the description as well. Um, Check those out, some articles on the website. Thanks to all our patrons who've given us lots of boom, fuel for the fire. Keep this channel rocking. When you finish playing the game, why not pop over to the Flybubble shop? Who knows, you might find out where to get this Bluetooth brake toggle. You might not. <laughs> Keep well guys, fly safe and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.